the city of Iraq, Mosul, a city they control. They're smashing priceless ancient statues and artifacts. This is a ruthless new show of the terror group's hold on Iraq's second largest city, even as coalition forces prepare for what are described as major offensives there. Let's bring in our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr. She's got more. Barbara? Good evening, Wolf. Just a short time ago, the United Nations condemned this video we're showing of the destruction of these artifacts at the museum in Iraq, calling for an emergency uh, Security Council meeting to discuss how to preserve Iraq's priceless cultural heritage. There is some discussion that perhaps one or two of these items may be replicas that were in the museum in Mosul, but all experts are indicating so far there are some priceless artifacts here in these rooms that have been destroyed by ISIS. The ISIS narrator on the tape says God ordered them to do this because this involved idolatry. Uh, just the latest, latest brutality by this organization, Walt. It's a sick, sick situation indeed. What's the latest, Barbara, you're hearing from your sources about this upcoming battle for the liberation of Mosul? There was some interesting testimony on Capitol Hill today. The director of the Defense Intelligence Agency said it could take six to nine months for three divisions, basically a very large, significant number of Iraqi forces to be ready to engage in major combat operations. Mosul would be smaller than that, but let's go back a minute. Six to nine months for a good chunk of the Iraqi military to be ready to go into combat. That certainly is going to raise some questions about whether a smaller operation, but still a very significant operation, to take Mosul can really begin in the next several weeks, as the Pentagon has suggested. Yeah, well, seems to be conflicting statements coming out. All right, Barbara, thanks.